My name is Katie, and I'm a certified teacher and a mom of two preschoolers. I know, as a parent, it's not easy being creative on the spot. So in each episode, I'm going to share a mix of simple crafts, fun and healthy snacks, and educational activities that you can take away and put in your pocket. Kids love to paint, so for today's activity, I'm going to show you how to make a mason jar apple that they can give to their teacher as a gift. For today's activity, you're going to need a jar. You can get a nice round mason jar or maybe an old jam jar you have hanging around, some paint brushes, some white primer, some green and red acrylic paint, a glue gun, a small cork for the stem, some scissors, some green cardstock, and then maybe a little something yummy and sweet that you can fill the jar with. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your jar is nice and clean. So you're going to want to put something down to protect whatever surface you're working on. Then you're going to take your white primer and apply it all over the outside of the jar as well as the lid. So make sure you wait for your primer to dry and then the next thing you'll do is take your red acrylic paint and paint all over the outside of the jar. Next, take your green paint and paint it all over the lid. Now you're going to have to wait for all the paint to dry. While you're waiting for the paint to dry, the next thing to do is make the leaves for the apple. You're going to take your green cardstock or craft paper and cut it into the shape of two small leaves. I like to fold the leaves in half just to give it a little bit more dimension and to make them look a little bit more realistic. So next we're going to put together the stem and the leaves. So make sure that your glue gun is nice and ready to go. Take your cork, add a little dollop of glue to the bottom, and then stick on the two leaves. Making sure that all of the paint on the lid of your jar is nice and dry, now you can take your stem and your leaves, add one more dollop of glue to the bottom, and press it onto the lid. You might want to hold it for a couple of seconds until the glue dries just a little bit. Let's not forget about that yummy treat we talked about. Grab some candy, some little chocolates, put it inside the mason jar, close it up, and now you've got a really great gift for the teacher. So on to our fun and healthy snack idea. Today we're going to make some cars that are just made out of apples and grapes. Super easy. So all you're going to need are some apples, I chose red and green, some red and green grapes just to have a variety of color, some toothpicks, a nice sharp knife, and a cutting board. First you're going to grab your apple, you're going to slice it into some nice crescent moon shapes. Next, you're going to grab your toothpicks and stick them through your apple slice and they're going to act as the axle for your wheels. So next we're going to move on to the wheels. Take two grapes, cut them in half, and then you've got four wheels. Slide them onto the toothpicks and you're done. You've got a car. <laughs> Great job. So just for a little contrast, I used the red grapes on the green apple and the green grapes on the red apple. Beep beep. Really, it's just a fun and easy way to present your apple and grapes. You can have it as just a little snack or make a bigger platter for a party. All right, so for the focus on learning, parents definitely know that homework can be a real battle. So one thing to make things a little bit easier I recommend is putting together a homework caddy. Just something really simple and easy that kids can bring to the dining room table, to their own desk, to the coffee table, wherever it is that they're doing their homework. I just picked this up at a little craft store. Got this crate and a couple of mason jars. Some of the essentials any kid would probably need for getting their homework done would be some pencils and pens, markers, colored crayons, stapler, ruler, a calculator. I've also included some folders where you can have just some blank paper, some lined paper, and some scrap paper. The homework caddy is a great idea because it makes homework a little bit more fun and exciting for kids. And it also helps to teach them to be a little bit more responsible because they don't need to ask mom where to find things come homework time. Mom! Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions or some great ideas you'd like to share yourself, just put them in the comments below. I've got lots more craft ideas, snack ideas, and educational activities on the way, so be sure to check them out on Coral. 